to our channel welcome back to another monthly grocery haul if you're new I'd love for you to subscribe hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time we post give us a like and a comment and if you've been here before welcome back if you're new here my name is Megan I am from Utah I have a family of seven currently and I do monthly grocery hauls every single month so I'm going to start by showing you the meal plan I just went to Winco. I have to go to Sam's next and then I have a Walmart pickup. Let me just quickly tell you how I do things. If you want an in-depth video of how I grocery shop, I will link the one I did down below. So I like to put everything into my Walmart app and then go to Winco and see if I can find it for a cheaper price. Even if it's a penny cheaper, I'll get it from Winco and save that penny. And so <clears throat> I did that. I went to Winco. There's a couple things I have to get from Winco that Walmart doesn't carry. But for the most part, everything I got from Winco is stuff I got that Walmart was more expensive getting. So I do that every single month. And then I'll go to Sam's and get the stuff that we need. And then I'll go and get everything else from Walmart. I do a monthly meal plan. I try to go for a full month. We eat leftovers here. This is the meal plan. Every Saturday is our eat out night. We also have a thing I like to call yo-yo nights where you're on your own and I usually do that if we have a cheer competition or if I make something large and I know it's probably going to last three nights and I'll do a yo-yo night on the third night. So if you have any questions let me know. I'm always down to answer any questions in the comment section. So yeah I'm just going to start by showing you the meal plan so that way you'll know why I bought these groceries and it'll make sense. Also if you're interested in seeing how I make or what I make with these groceries I do weekly what's for dinners. I have been slacking, but I'm going to get back on it. It's just the holidays was a lot. <laughs> and then we also have weekly vlogs where you can just hang out with us for a whole week. And we do that every single week. So let's get started with the meal plan. Tonight is my mom's birthday. On birthdays, I usually make whatever the person wants and then we'll go out to eat on the weekend. So she requested chicken and wild rice soup. And I'm going to make it with some garlic grilled cheese. <clears throat> and then on Sunday we'll be having Mexican cornbread. If you see these notes, these are things I'll need to get when it gets closer to time because I don't get a lot of produce since I do such a large meal plan. We're going to have hot dogs with chili or chi and chips. You can either have a regular hot dog or we have some chili that I froze a couple months ago. So you can do chili dog or just a regular hot dog. Here's an example of a yo-yo night because we're having a cheer competition on both of these nights. So... You know, we can't cook, so we'll have to eat out then. We're going to do sweet and spicy chicken salads. We're going to do chicken, spaghetti, and broccoli, which is going to be, excuse me, a big meal, so third night will be a yo-yo night. We're going to do sausage biscuits, skip that, go out to eat on a Saturday, and then have the rest of the sausage biscuits on Sunday. We're going to have nachos for two nights, burgers and fries for two nights, yo-yo night, and then chicken quesadillas, which we have every single month because we always have chicken cheese and tortillas. And then the last meal in the meal plan will be crunch wraps. And then we will be starting over. So let me show you what I got from Winco. All right, so like I said, some of the stuff I had to get from Winco because they have, they're the only ones who carry it. So I'll start with that. We like these Juanita's tortilla chips because they're not very salty and our Walmart doesn't carry it, so I always get those from Winco. And if you've been here for a while, um, we eat ground turkey exclusively, except for when we have burgers, then we have, you know, <clears throat> beef. But anytime I'm cooking a recipe that calls for ground turkey, I use, I mean ground beef, I use ground turkey. For a while, Winco was very cheap on the turkey. And then there was a stint where they were more expensive than Walmart. Well, Winco is back to being the cheapest place for turkey. So I got six of these two pound rolls of turkey. Now, everything else I got is because it's cheaper at Winco than at Walmart. So <clears throat> I got 20, or excuse me, 12 of the 25% less sodium taco seasonings. Walmart was out of stock of this, so I just got it at Winco and it was still cheaper. So I got a ramp seasoning pack. I got some Jiffy muffin mix, three of those. I've been craving blueberry muffins, but my mom requested muffins for her birthday cake. She is not a fan of cake. And so for her sweet treat, she wanted banana nut muffins. So it sounds I'm gonna get muffins, but I still got these, even though my muffin craving will probably be 
uh, fixed tonight. But I had these just to put in the pantry, so if I get that craving again, I already have them. I got three cans of sliced black olives, some crispy fried onions, some Santa Fe style tortilla strips. This got me at the register. I love me a ginger ale. Two packs of cream cheese. I got the big flour burrito size tortillas for when we have crunch wraps. For produce, I needed some celery for the soup I'm gonna make an onion for the soup I'm gonna make, and then cucumbers just sounded really good to me, so I got two cucumbers to eat for lunch for today and tomorrow. A half a gallon of milk. So, we are an exclusive, oh, sorry y'all, we're an exclusive oat milk drinking family. However, when I'm cooking a recipe, we still use cow's milk because we have not, or we're too scared to use oat milk in a recipe. I don't know if it's gonna switch how it's gonna taste or if it's not gonna, come together right so if you use any kind of like oat milk or almond milk in a recipe and it works out fine for you please let me know and so i'll give it a try because right now i'm scared and the milk that we have been getting from walmart has been going bad super fast so i wanted to get it from winco this was i believe like four cents more expensive but if it's going bad it's a waste of money anyway so i'm going to try winco's just to see or it could just be that Milk has changed and we don't drink it. Like I said, we only use it for recipes and it's very rare that I buy it. So yeah, if you have any tips and tricks about almond milk or if I'm just being dramatic, I mean oat milk, cooking with oat milk, let me know. Okay, thank you. So I got a can of biscuits. I was just going to get a small grams ones from Walmart that had five in it, but this was cheaper and I get eight. So I was like, I'll just do that. <clears throat> I got some of this Mexicorn, some... I need it for the Mexican cornbread. Um, some salsa con queso tortillas, totito board. Salsa con queso tostitos cheese dip. I put this in our crunch wraps. I needed some Frank's Red Hot, two cans of refried beans, one heavy whipping cream. This is a four pack of cream of chicken soup. And then I needed two cans of evaporated milk. So that is everything that I got from Winco, and I'll see you when I get back from Sam's. I am back from Sam's. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just carried all these groceries in by myself up two flights of stairs, and I'm tired. I went to a Sam's in a different city, and they had no rotisserie chickens today. Yeah, so I talked my sister into going with me to the other Sam's. So hopefully they have, <coughs> excuse me, rotisserie chickens, because Sam's is the best deal for chicken, so... Y'all will be finding out if I find some rotisserie chickens at Sam's. But I'm going to show you everything that I got. I got, excuse me, one of these Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. Some eggs. Two of these hot dog packs. These beef franks. These are very, very good. I got two of those. I got some tortillas. This is two 20 count packs in here. So 40 tortillas. Two five pound bags of Mexican style cheese. Here are the muffins I was talking about. So it's cold outside, so it's kind of had some condensation, but there's three blueberry, three chocolate, and three banana nut. Sour cream, two packs of this Jimmy Dean fully, fully cooked sausage. This sausage is really good. So I got that, two loaves of artisanal bread, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, some boneless chicken bites, hamburger patties, and chips for the month are Cool Ranch Doritos. So that is everything I got from Sam's. So we just got back from Sam's and they had rotisserie chicken. So I got the two that I needed. I will see you when I get to Walmart. I just got back from Walmart. It's going to be a little bit louder in here because everybody is home now. So bear with me. Um, I got, oh, they were out of <laughs> biscuits frozen biscuits so i wrote that on my meal plan to get that when we have sausage biscuits but they had everything else so i got a couple bags of broccoli florets some whole carrots my sister requested i get her some caramel macchiato creamer zero sugar um some seasoned kringle cut fries two bags of that some of these tostadas for the crunch wraps two boxes of the bins long grain wild rice Two boxes of half-length spaghetti, 
My hand is so ashy. Don't mind that. Things that are having a moment with her Danish butter cup. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> That's taken if you're only here for the grocery hauls. But if you want to see more of her antics, subscribe and watch the weekly vlogs. <laughs> anyway, I got a pound of low sodium bacon, some sliced Colby Jack cheese, two cans of no salt added Rotel, two cans of no salt added black beans, some real bacon pieces, mayo, and three quarts. I don't know. Anyway, three of these reduced sodium chicken broth. So that is everything. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do these grocery hauls every month. I weekly vlog and I weekly do what's for dinners. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.